Welcome back. As the community adjusts to the pandemic, more events are actually coming back to the area, but they're keeping safety in mind. Here to break that all down is News 18's This Morning, Cody Malin. Cody, what fun events are going on this weekend? Hey, good morning, Marley. Yeah, it's been ages since I've been able to tease events, but things are opening back up, and here we have the Weekend Planner once again. Now, as Halloween approaches, more events, like I said, are popping up around the area, and they're finding creative ways to hold them. Check this out. Starting today, the Columbian Park Zoo will host its first Boo at the Zoo weekend. So, the event is a little different this year than the annual Boo at the Zoo event. This year, they're taking place over two weekends to keep community's health and safety a priority. There will also be no hands-on activities or live performances. The events run this weekend and next. Advanced tickets, hey, they're only $5, no excuses. We have a full list of time slots and a link to register. That's on our website, WLFI.com. And if you're still looking for something fun to do outdoors, well, hey, Wolf Park has you covered. In just a few hours, the park is holding a scavenger hunt. That's right. Once again, for just $5, you can go on a self-guided tour looking for all, all sorts of wild creatures from wolves to bison. And yes, there will be a prize. Now, you can take part today at 10 a.m. or next Friday at the same time. All ages are invited. The event is free for Wolf Park members. And after you spend your day at Wolf Park, why not head to downtown Lafayette for a quick bite to eat? Lafayette's Fresh Air Eats continues once again this weekend. From Bobby T's to Star City Coffee, there's something for just about everyone. Now, if you haven't heard of Fresh Air Eats, it's an effort to help restaurants out during the pandemic. Various streets will close downtown across the area, allowing restaurants to have outdoor eating. So if you can't make it this weekend, no worries. Fresh Air Eats will continue every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday all the way through November 1st. So these events are just a few things going on in the area this weekend. However, I want to remind you, COVID-19 safety precautions should be top of mind if you head out. Don't forget, take your mask, have that hand sanitizer, be prepared. Now for a full list of weekend events and restaurants taking part in Fresh Air Eats, head over to our website, WLFI.com. Cody Malin, News 18.